Hello, hello, it's June Olson with Junebug Creations Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator coming to you from Whitefish, Montana. And it is not a live, but it is April 25th when you watch this. I am pre-recording it before I go do my trip to Ohio to surprise our son for his birthday, his 20th birthday, two decades. I'm not old enough to have a kid that old, right? <laughs> sure. All right. So I want to show you a new card trick or a new card idea that I saw from Jackie Bullheis and thought, ooh, this would be really gorgeous as a very simple and elegant card. So let me show you first the one I did when I recorded this the other day and discovered today that there was no volume. So luckily I had not left yet because otherwise you would have just seen and not heard. But isn't this a beautiful and elegant card? So I'm going to show you how I did the lines, but I'm changing it up. All right, so we're going to start off with a piece of paper that is three and four and three quarters by three and a half. And we're going to use our scoring board. All right, and our little um, stylus. All right, so you are going to hold that in the corner and we're going to do one eighth inch. All right, and we're going to do seven of them. So two. Now you can do this on your trimmer. You just have to move the paper each time. So it is easier on this. Let's see, two, three, four, All right, I didn't have these problems the other day. Four, <laughs> five, six, and seven. All right, so it kind of starts curling it up, but it gives it that great lined look. Now what we're going to do is move that out of the way for a moment and we're going to stamp our sentiment. All right, let me go ahead and zoom in for you. So we're going to stamp our sentiment above these lines and I have chosen Love and Joy from The Merriest Trees. So I'm going to stamp that right there off to the side a little bit, just like that. Ooh, I didn't get the top of my L. There we go. All right. And then we're going to come back over here. All right, this is not working at the moment for this. They're not the same size, so they're not compatible. All right, so then we're going to put this back in here. And now with the same distance from our sentiment on this side, we want to run our stylus down and then we're going to do the whole rest of the paper. And we're essentially using every groove. All right, I love this board. It is so great for not just scoring things, but for measurements, for creating. I use it when I do card prep, I do all my uh, scoring on it because it has a great deep score mark. All right, you can use, again, you can use your trimmer. All right, you can even just use a ruler and if you have a um, take your pick tool, you would have the stylus on it and you could even just use a ruler and do it on a foam mat. So there's all kinds of ways that you could do this technique. But I'm telling you, the scoring board is the easiest and quickest. Look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? That looks so cool. All right, so now we're going to put that down and bring the glass mat back up. All right, and then we're going to bring in a piece of real red cardstock cut just a little bit bigger. It is four and seven eighths by three and three eighths, uh, five eighths, three and five eighths. 
so three and five eighths. I'll put the measurements in the, um, the measurements will be up above when I post this. All right, oh, oh, I moved my stuff out of the way. All right, so we're going to, this is like an embossed card, except you've embossed it with your stripes, so you wanna make sure you have plenty of glue on it so that it sticks down. All right, I'll flip this over. We wanna center it on here. I just really love this card. I think it looks so elegant. I don't know what it is about those lines, but it looks so elegant to me. I'm just gonna rub it from this side because it is white paper, so I don't want to get my fingerprints all over it. Isn't that beautiful? And then we're going to take it and we're going to put it on white, thick white cardstock, cut at the five and a half, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. All right. And we're going to center it on there. There we go. Make sure it opens on the right so you've got it the right way. There we go. So pretty. Oh, I might be in need of a blade. It looks a little shredded right there. So pretty and clean. Isn't that gorgeous? Why is that? What's up with my light? Or my camera? There we go. I don't know what's going on with that. All right, so nice and light and bright. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I wanna add a little decoration to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the bows um, punch. And I just want this one. I don't want the flowers, I just want this one. So, and I want three of them. So I'm going to stick this in here. Wait, hold on, we'll do this one first. All right, so now I'm getting a little bit because my, well, why don't we just trim that down actually. Trim that off a little bit so that I am just getting what I want instead of getting extra punched items. Just I did not do that too skinny, but I don't think I did. There we go. All right, so I want one. There we go. Two. And three. We like odd numbers, right? So we want three, all right. And then what I'm going to do is kind of put them together as if they were mistletoe and hang them upside down like this, all right. So I'm going to, where's my ribbon? I'm going to do just a little knot right here, just do a little knot as if it was tied, and I'm going to see if I can stuff those in there to where it actually would be tied. Come on, we can do this. Oh, it just came undone. I'm not even live and I'm messing up with this, huh? All right, here we go. Let's try this again. <laughs> Come on, Ribbon, you can do it. All right. Let's see if I can stick that in there after all. 
If not, then we'll just glue it on top. I just thought it would be nice to be able to stick it in there and actually have a knot over the bow, over the branches. There we go. There we go. All right. It's working. It's working. It's a lot of work, but it's working. All right, and then we want to just trim that so that it's at an angle and trim this one at an angle. So we have it like that. All right, we'll just kind of fan these out a little bit. Oh, looks like I miss, missed one of those. So we'll just do that and we'll hang it right there. And I'm going to use some glue dots on the back of this so that it stays put. So I'm going to put it behind the bow or the knot. I'm going to put it on this leaf. I'm fanning them out. This one goes this way. There it is. All right. There we go. All right. So we want it like that. So we want to put some glue dots on places so that they will stick together. Like that. And we'll pop these backings off. to hang that like that. Ooh, that's a little close. All right. And I forgot my pearls. Let's see. Let's do these. So this is what I used for the berries on here. This is the red um, pearlized enamel effects, but I'm going to go ahead and use the white and do our three little berries. All right. I'm going to do them fairly good size and then I'm gonna set this card aside to dry. There we go. All right. And so that is then our mistletoe. All right, so love and joy and a very simple card, very elegant looking. I think they both came out absolutely gorgeous. I totally love them. This is not quite as yellow, but next to the white, it does look pretty yellow. This is the very vanilla, and this is the um, basic white. And I did do a wider frame on this one than on this one. I didn't need as much showing here, but I wanted more of the green showing here to kind of offset all the red. So there you go. Two simple cards using the same technique of using the scoring board to make your lines up and keep this part nice and flat. Okay, and then you can see you can either have your embellishment over here on the side or you can have your embellishment over the top. So I trust you like this Christmas card for this month. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you again next month, May 25th, for the next Christmas card of the year. Take care, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.